and fight for GTC. Please like, comment down, subscribe after watching. Hello. Welcome to Axel and Fight for GTV. And if you are new to our channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And don't forget to support our second channel, Familia Garcia Mix. So today we're going to do some auto solve some algebraic expressions and word problems okay um this one three plus four times seven how do you solve this one we use m dash which is multiplication division addition and subtraction Very good. Next. How about 2 cubed plus 3 squared? 2 cubes or 2 to the power of 3 plus 3 squared. N is equal to 17. Good job. Next. Tiger travels 135 miles in 3 hours. You have you are given here 135 miles in 3 hours now. So, you have to compute the unit rate. So, simplify. What is the unit rate? You are given the distance and it takes three hours to cover up with the distance. So you are asked with the unit rate. Miles per hour. Per hour. 45 miles per hour. Okay, very good. You just have to divide 135 miles. Into three, so the answer is 45 miles per hour. So, ganyan yung ano niya speed niya. Okay, next determine the prime numbers with this given numbers 25, 29, 33, 31, 39, 21. Prime numbers. Determine the time numbers. Okay, 29 and 31. Because 25 can be divided into 5. Okay. Uh, 33. Pwede siya ma-divide ng 11. And 3. 31 is a prime number. 29 is a prime number. 39. can divided be into 3, 13. Okay. 21 as well can be divided 7 and 3. Very good. So... Our prime numbers here are 29 and 31. Next. Which two numbers have a sum of 14 and a product of 45? So you have to determine the two numbers which will give you the product of 45 and the sum of 14. 9 plus 5 and 9 times 5. Very good. So now numbers are? 9 and 5. So, when you are asked what is the what are the numbers, you just have to provide 9 and 5 or 5 and 9. Okay? You don't have to answer the operation. Okay? Just answer the numbers 5 and 9. Okay? 5 and 9. The numbers are 5 and 9. Good job. Next. How many fifths make 3? So this is Mommy, the decimal point. Mommy, fifth is a decimal Mommy. point because there is PHS. Fifth, fifth meaning you, um fraction. Oh, ah. it could be it could be decimal. It's up to you. Fifth or one fifth. 
one fifth how many fifth make it a three so what is your n the number of fifth kon ilan siya so determine the number sentence or the equation evaluate N is equal to 6. Very good. Next, what is the value of X if X plus 4 is equal to 25? Determine the value of X if given the expression or the equation of X plus 4 is equal to 25. 21. Okay. Very good. You just have to do the transposition, okay? Transfer, then identify, evaluate, simplify. Very good. Next, what is the value of the number? We're given here the Roman numerals. I'll give you an L, X, 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 I, V. What is I, V stains for? So, what is our value here? I write it, so, 50 plus 20 plus 4. So What's the answer? To 74. 74. Good job. By the way, guys, this is just an update on our YouTube main channel. So, here we don't have to explain. We're just, it's just a follow-up um, word problems activity. So, next... If a third of a number is 12, what is the number? Let me see how will you write the equation. So, if a third or meaning one third of a number is 12, what is the number? If a third of a number is 12, what? is a number what is the number 36, 36. so you the so 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 that's a manual computation so when we are asked to do the um, solution determine what is asked first sabi niya what is the uh, what is the value of num uh, the, of a number daw so ang ano natin one third of a number is 12 so one third write down one third we don't know the number which is n so you can just write n over 3 or one third times n because we do we have to determine the n the value okay and it is equal to 12. So, n over 3 or 1 third n is equal to 12. So, you have to identify what is the value of n. So, simplify. Given with the equation n over 3 is equal to 12, determine the value of n. What is the value of n now? 36. So, you have to um multiply multiply the 12 by 3 as um coming from the ano, coming from the equation n over 3 cross multiply okay cross multiply okay very good you do the manual i gave you the uh, equation on how to evaluate so Hindi lahat ng bagay ng computation is makukuha sa manual. But if you're given with a larger number, million thousands, okay, it is hard to determine the value of n. So, always remember on how to write the mathematical equation given the English, um, English sentence problem. English yung parang expression niya. Yung parang kunyari is ah uh ah -uh. uh -uh, okay you just have to identify carefully next which of these numbers is not a factor of 36 so 
write down the factor. the, fac oh, oh, the factors. Can be, be uh, oh, can be divided or can be. Um, oh, oh, yeah, without any reminder. So here, 12, 3, 1, 8, 2, 18, 16. Again, write down which is not a factor of 36. 3, 12, 1, 8, 2, 18, 6. Which one is not a factor? Because eight. when we skip count, uh, 8, 16, 24, 32. And when, hindi po, hindi na po siya magiging 36. Kasi po, 32 plus 8, 40. Hmm. Or simply, you just have to divide 36 by 3. Then we'll give you 12. And then 36, divide 12, will give you 3. Then 36 is um, identity, property, 1. It will give you the same number, the exact number. 36 divided by 8 will give you, uh, it will not give you the exact number of a certain answer, certain number. 36 divided by 2, yes. 36 divided by 18, yeah, it's 2. 36 divided by 6 will give you 6. So, a number which is not a factor of 36 is 8. Okay. Next, how many yards in 81 feet? So, you do the conversion. I ask you to memorize the basic um, conversion. So, what is the conversion of feet to yard? How many feet into yard? Feet to get the, ano po, to get the yard. To eat yung, yung Ilang yard. feet meron sa isang yard? Three. Three. So, our conversion factor here is one yard is equal to three three feet. So, determine the value of uh, anong hinahanap natin dito? Kung how many yards are there in 81 feet? Oh. They just simply. Just simple. Simply what? Ano po? Di divide po natin yung 3 sa 81. Yeah. And simply divide. Minus Marker ni ano to? Bawa. <laughs> Oh, give it to Baba. Oh, oh, return mo daw. Next. How will you write? Oh, for example, this one. I have here a uh, word problem. There is 24 fluid ounces of water. So, meron ka 24 ounces of water in a bottle. Okay. Yeah. Then, you drink one-fourth of it. How many fluid of ounces are left? So you have you are given with a twenty four ounces. How did you do it? How did you came up with the answer? Ilan ang na consume. So, mm, dapat ima-minus ko po kung ano kung ilan na po natira. Mm -hmm. So, 24 minus yung kanina pong sinabi, yung 6. So, 24 minus 6 is equal to 18. 18 ounces of water is left. Yeah, 6 ounces of water has been consumed and we just have to subtract 6 from 24. So, we have here 18 ounces left of so, fluid. Yan, Next, I have here a list of numbers. Um, write it down. Uh, list down muna. I have here negative 3, negative 8, 0, and 2. Or negative, so, two. Or negative 2. Okay. 0 and negative 2. Okay, we will use the negative numbers in 0. So, how will you write that numbers from smallest to, to greatest? Yeah. What is the smallest number if we are given with the negative numbers? Kasi madali siya ma-identify, it's positive. Yung parang ano po, yung... Pag positive lang kasi, series of numbers, sunod-sunod lang. So, how about yung if you're given zero, with a... Mm -hmm. Diba? Or, ascending or, order lang siya. Pero simply. Pero po, pag zero hanggang ano, mga negative na po. Mm -hmm. 
So give me the smallest number first. What negative is the smallest eight. number? Negative eight. Next. Negative three. Negative three. Negative two. Okay, very good. So there's a, there is a rule. Zero is a neutral number. Okay, but zero is a zero neutral is a number. Zero is a number, but not a complex. Yeah. Zero determines our neutral number. So, the more uh, pag-aaralan nyo by next, 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 basta. Hindi ko alam kung anong grade or high school ba yan, elementary. Pag-aaralan nyo na pag positive number, the long na malayo ka sa zero, the greater. The greater. The more But if it's a negative number, the more na malayo ka sa zero, it is, it has a lesser, lesser okay, lesser, lesser value. value. It's an opposite, okay? So, next. Very good. Next. Mm, what is the value or what is the area? What is the area of a triangle if we are given with a value of its height of 3 cm and its base of 8 centimeters? Find the area of a triangle given the length or the height of three centimeters and the, the base is eight centimeters the formula of a you know, triangle is base times height is two divided by two is equal to area okay determine so three times three cm times eight cm is equal to i divided by two hmm. eight times Three is equal to twenty-four divided by two. So twelve cm. Don't forget the, ano po, yung squared, squared. Um, okay. Sa, unit, uh, unit squared. Unit squared. So what is our area? Twelve cm squared. Twelve cm squared. Twenty-four divided by two is equal to twelve cm squared. Very good. So determine the ten percent of two hundred. Determine the ten percent of two hundred. What is the two? Uh, what is the ten percent of two hundred? Twenty. Okay. The ratio of the red balls to uh, blue balls in a bag is 1 is to 3. So we're given here the ratio of 1 is to 3. 1 is for red, 3 is for, uh, is for blue. If there are 9 red balls, how many blue balls are there? Twenty-seven. 27, very good. What is the product of 10 times 31.25? What is the product of 10 times 31.25? 312.5 Very good. Next, for example, um, time travel ito. I set off at 725. My journey takes me 8 hours and 45 minutes. So, that's the time travel. 7.25 So, there is no specific kung morning ba to or afternoon. Oh, yeah. We're not asked to determine the, ano, if it's AM or... I think it's 24 hours. Hmm. Yung, kasi po, hindi po bining, hindi po, so, ibig sabihin po, kung may PM, dapat... Hanggang 12 lang po yan. Mm. 12 p.m. This is a mi military time. 12 for 24 PM. hours. So, ang sabi niya, I set off 7.25. My journey takes me 8 hours and 45 minutes. What time will I arrive? So, here you have to write in 24 hour clock time. So, this is a military time. 7.25. 16, uh, 16 and 10 minutes. 16 hours and 10 minutes. So, okay. 16 hours and 10 minutes. And 10 minutes. So, this is 4 o'clock and 10 minutes. So, probably this is afternoon. Okay? So, we do not know if it's AM or PM. So, very good. This is for now. Bye-bye.